so I got a uh, 2016 RV. Um, it's hardly used. Um, but for some reason, the couches and the vinyl in this RV just got destroyed. Um, I don't know if the UV did it or if it had a lot of use on the vinyl, but I mean, it doesn't have a lot of miles and it's a really good condition RV. So, um, I will show you what one of my couches look like back here. So this one's not that bad, but this one's got threads popping here. It's got a huge tear in the cushions there. Um, this one needs to be redone for sure. It's just a little jackknife sofa up here. You can see all the cracking and the peeling. Um, over here on the dinette, a lot of cracking and peeling too. That vinyl just wore out, just flaking off and peeling. Um, so I, uh, I went to uh, a really cool store and, and I bought some... Uh, what did I buy? Like eight yards of um, of vinyl, and I got two tone. I got kind of a olive green and a tan, and I went to work on this couch, and that couch has been completely reupholstered. The back piece, the bottom piece, and I will show you how I did this. Um, you'll need a heavy duty sewing machine, some pretty strong thread. Um, I'm doing some kind of fake piping here. You can see how that seam comes together. Um, and then on the back, we're locked in with these, with the hog clamps and the, uh, and the hog pliers. And this couch cost about $890 to $1,000 to buy it. And I'm like, no way I'm going to spend 800 bucks to buy a new couch when I can just put a new cover on it. So... This technique, I think I'm getting away with um, $320 invested in vinyl and a sewing machine um, to do some heavy-duty uh, fabrics, and I'll kind of show you, walk through the process, how I did it. So stay tuned. Watch me sew up the second couch. It's not difficult. Uh, you just have to have some basic sewing knowledge, um, and you have to have a machine strong enough to do it in the right stuff. So I'll show you how I did it. And uh, here we go. GoPro, stop recording.
run this through. a basic uh, half top stitch um, purely decorative uh, you know no it's not purely decorative it adds actually quite a bit of strength overall to the couch uh, you can see I'm running the top stitch on the tan side uh, the thread that I went and bought was about $17 for the entire spool and it's kind of a darker brown and it contrasts pretty good with the uh, with the tan leather so I thought it looked really cool and it gave it a professional look. I tried to top stitch every single seam on the entire couch. It looks much better that way, and I think it's a lot stronger that way. The thread that I'm using is incredibly strong thread, actually. It's some pretty tough stuff. It's from a real upholstery uh, company, and I think it's meant to be used on like, upholstering car seats, and yeah, it's, it's some tough stuff. All right. So basically here I'm lining up the side panels of the uh, of the bottom cushion and sewing a rounded edge. You just kind of have to go slow and, uh, and work it through the machine. Leave yourself a half inch of seam allowance and that way gives you enough fabric to fold over under your seam and to uh, give you something to top stitch to. So when you do your top stitch, you're actually going through three layers of leather vinyl. When you take that seam and you roll it over, um, and then you tan, you sew on the tan side, you're going to be pushing through three layers. That's why you need a heavy duty machine. And that's why you need a really strong thread. If you don't have the right machine, don't have the right thread, either it won't punch through this vinyl or it will punch through the vinyl with the needle, but it will break your thread. So you have to have a, uh, a strong machine for this process, but yeah, I'm going to fade out here and off we go.
side right there. Right there. Okay. So once you got your cushions all uh, all sewn up and made up, um, mine had a steel frame on the back of it. So I could use this tool here. It's called the hog pliers. And I think those little wire pieces are called hog ties. Um, the tool is available at Menards for I think like $6 for the pliers and I think like $6 for the ties. I will tell you though, it's not a fun process. I bet there's a tool that could actually make this process really easy, like an electronic machine that does this, but to do it by hand was a lot of work. Uh, the whole trick was get that cushion on straight. Uh, you'd want to check it periodically to make sure that you're actually tensioning it up nice. Um, but yeah, it's basically, it's pretty straightforward for me on this. I think if you have an RV or a couch that's got a wooden back, it's just a matter of getting a staple gun and tensioning it that way and stapling it in place. Now, if I were to do this again, I would uh, probably go and buy a roll of that one inch cotton batting and lay a nice sheet of that cotton batting over my cushion before I put the cover on it and tensioned it. That's, I think, the reason why there's some of the wrinkles in the middle. Um, and uh and i think that cotton batting would have taken care of that but it's not that bad it's not that noticeable um if it was if it was worse i would have taken the cover off and done that but it's passing the test at the moment so i'm going to leave it how it is and uh get ready to install this thing all right there we go boom boom Got it. All right. the vinyl the finished couches the finished cushions and i will show you what we got couch number one you've seen this one before cushions that's new upholster cushion and i got two of those to the mid mid cabin i guess um we got this lower sofa here upholstered that turned out really nice and I also did the upper bunk as well, because that was in really bad shape too. I couldn't be happier with how this RV is looking. There's not a bit of used vinyl in here that's in bad shape. Everything in this RV is pretty pristine, and it really makes the RV feel like a brand new rig. So um, yeah, I recommend if you're getting, um, if you've you know had the peeling vinyl or. If you're annoyed with the pattern on your RV cushions, um, go ahead and update the vinyl and you'll make a, an RV like mine. This is a 2016 feel like a brand new you know, 2022 RV. So there's the before and after. That's the video. Um, subscribe to the channel uh, for more stuff like this because any sewing project that I find, I, uh, I like to do it and film it and, uh, and put it on my YouTube channel for you guys to watch. So... There it is. We'll see you guys next time.